What's up guys, we're all here with Yuga Tech, and if you are planning on switching to an iPhone but don't want to leave your Google apps and tools behind, don't worry as there are ways to Google-fy your iPhone and have the best of both worlds. Before we get started, this guide works best if your iOS device runs on iOS 11 and above as you can delete some of Apple's built-in apps. This can also work on iOS 10 but the said apps can be deleted and can only be removed from the home screen. Alright, let's begin. First up, for mail, we've got Gmail. Not everyone likes stock email apps and that goes for Android and iOS. And if you're a Google user, you're better off using Gmail. For Safari, we got Google Chrome. We have been using Safari on iOS devices for quite some time now and it is quite speedy and does the job. But if you like the feel of Google's Chrome browsing with its features like multi-device syncing, voice search, translate, and the ability to scan QR code, then better have this installed. For Calendar, we have Google Calendar. One of the things we like about Google Calendar is its ability to show important events from a Gmail like flight details and important meetings. There's also to-do list, set goals capability, and quick event creation. In addition, we're also fond of its visually pleasing layout. Now for maps, we have Google Maps. I mean, who doesn't use this app? Apple's map application has improved a lot since its debut. Still, we don't feel it's on the same level as the veteran Google Maps, and probably one of the reasons you can delete Apple Maps on the iPhone. So if you want a capable navigation, app on the iPhone, better download this one. For photos, we have Google Photos. One of the reasons to have this installed is its unlimited cloud storage for up to 16 megapixel or 1080p quality. This is a huge benefit considering that iPhone doesn't have expandable storage. If you're running low, just back up all your photos and videos on Google Photos, then free up your device's storage. It also has Google Lens and an intuitive photo and video editing tools to apply content-aware filters, adjust lighting, and more. And of course, for Siri, we have Google Assistant. Yep, that is possible. Having Siri as a virtual assistant is a cool thing, but having two VAs is way cooler. That said, you can install Google Assistant and have it do things for you like make quick phone calls, send messages or emails, set reminders, play music, navigate to places, or even ask for a joke. Last but not the least, for iCloud, we have Google Drive. You can use this alongside iCloud if you like. Google Drive can provide you 15 gigabytes of extra storage to store files like documents, PDF, photos, and videos, and share them with others. You can set permissions, see file details and activity, as well as view files offline. As for your entertainment and productivity needs, you can also replace these following apps with Google's own. Google Keep for Notes, iBooks for Google Play Books, Pages for Google Docs, and Google Sheets for Numbers. And that's about it. Do you prefer using Google's own apps rather than iOS? Feel free to comment down below. And if you like this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Ro, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.